Hey everybody, today I am going to turn this AirTag with a possibly one year battery life into a 10 year or decade long product. This is kind of silly because this thing will probably be outdated in 10 years, but you know, going to make best effort to do that. And then also I'm going to attempt to pull the speaker out of this because what I want to do is I want to put this in my truck and I want it to just be silent, hide it. Uh, I will know where it is. Hopefully I don't forget. <laughs> But if someone were to steal my truck, which is very, very slim chance, then I would, uh, they wouldn't be able to find it, uh, yeah, audibly. So anyway, because it would alert them if they did have an iPhone that someone's tracking them. So I'll probably be using this only to find my truck if I park somewhere where I forgot. So let's open this thing up today in the only fun fashion that I know how with a knife or blade. See what we got here. This is called Time Capsule. This is from a company called Elevation Lab. These are $20 at the moment. You can buy a four pack for less. Uh, 20, well, not less than $20, but less than $20 a piece. So that'd be silly. All right, open this thing up, see what we got inside. We have the case. We have tools, which is great. Man, I always fiddle with my dry fingers with these darn Ziplocs, so let's just dump that out. All right, we have four screws, and this thing just comes pre-unscrewed. So, actually what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna go grab some AA batteries. I'll be right back. Okay, got a couple batteries here. So, pretty simple directions. <laughs> Take out the battery, put the air tag there, reconnect, and what I probably should do is go purchase at the store some of these lithium batteries. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to put it together and show you how it works. And I'm going to give you a couple tips along the way. So, getting these air tags apart is a pain. So I use tape. You can use any kind of tape. I have gaff tape, so that's what I'm going to use today. And I found that if you take this right here, you pick up the metal part like that, and you twist. So easy. <laughs> Same with putting it back together. But we're not going to do that today. All right, so we're going to take this here and put it right there. Just show you how it works, and then I'm going to disassemble it. Okay, just like that. So I'm using my phone to video this, so I can't demonstrate that it does work, but do know that it does. And we'd close it up, lock it up. So today I'm going to attempt to remove the AirTag speaker. I've only watched, I think, one video on this, and best I could tell is it's good to mark where these align. So I'll just do three, those two on top. Right here. So, marked it, so we know where it goes back together. And we want to separate right here, just do be careful if you're using a sharp blade like me. Hopefully I do not cut myself, but we're gonna put the little tab in here. And we're gonna pry it open. Okay, just gonna move around. You can see there's a little lip right here. Okay, as we can tell, I Hopefully did not butcher it, but that was not as easy as I thought it would be. So, but it is a part. And what we have here is a speaker. So this here is what makes the sound. And we want to remove it. Perfect. And gone. So, no more speaker. It's magnetic. <laughs> All right. So now what we're going to do is just put this back together, hopefully the way I took it apart. So, you can see there's a little pin right here, and that pin goes through that hole right there. So, I can align my little sharpie marks, push it back together, okay. and yeah, it's back together. So I don't know if you need to put glue in here, probably not, <laughs> but what we want is those metal contacts here, here, and here, those three, and those are back together, so we're going to put this back in here. And we're going to close it up. This thing is weatherproof. 
from what I understand, what people have said is if you do keep the speaker in, it still does resonate throughout. And you get an extra screw, so that's fun. I don't know. I guess if you lose one, you got one extra. Just so you got to store that somewhere. <laughs> but it is really cool. You get the Allen. You get everything you need to put this together. And like I said, I'm going to go purchase some lithium-ion batteries, which makes sense. If you want it to last 10 years, you probably need to use some more stable batteries. So... Honestly, I don't know what the ones I have are, but I don't think they are lithium ion. Yeah, this thing feels extremely sturdy. Okay, and fun fact, I did not know this. I just saw this. These are designed in Portland, Oregon, which is three hours away from me. So that's pretty cool. Pretty sweet. Made in Oregon. Knife's made in Washington here, <laughs> right over the border or designed. Uh, but and assembled but yeah very cool so now we have super sturdy um, you could just you could put some adhesive on here and put it anywhere you want you can use this for so many applications it does have some heft to it so it's not something you probably want to carry on a daily basis and obviously not you know your maybe camera bag or keychains but uh, but it is good for for many applications so now we have a silent air tag that will last 10 years well after I swap the batteries out thanks for watching